This is News Center 6 Update. Good evening. One man was injured when a small plane went down in Clay County tonight. The incident occurred near the Euland, Minnesota area. No word yet on what caused the crash. The pilot suffered minor injuries. An angry President Bush denounces Iraq, calling its army international outlaws. A dramatic helicopter rescue in Liberia today. The Marines evacuated 59 Americans. We Fest is coming to an end in Detroit Lakes. Organizers say it was their best year ever. And on our news at 10, Tracy Briggs continues her high school reunion series with a profile of a Fargo man who has found his own elegance. That's update. Join us for New Center 6 tonight at 10. The president calls it a bitter pill to swallow. Details at 10. Head of the class, weekdays at 4.30. Watch Bison Sioux Basketball, Saturday on Channel 6. Merry Melodies, weekdays at 4. The Minnesota Daily 3 Lottery, tonight at 10. This is News Center 6 Update. Good evening. Investigators say they have no explanation as to why U.S. Air 737 slammed into a commuter plane in Los Angeles. The grisly task of finding bodies continues. The death toll now stands at 18. The latest on this tragedy tonight at 10 o'clock. The U.S. and its allies continue to bomb Iraq and occupied Kuwait. However, two U.S. planes were shot down. A huge show of support today for our troops in the Persian Gulf. A living flag was formed in Virginia. And did Puxitana Phil see a shadow today? Is there a possibility we could have six more weeks of winter? Those questions answered tonight at 10 o'clock. Temperatures in the mid-40s tomorrow. And that's update. Join us for News Center 6 tonight at 10. This is News Center 6 Update. Good evening. An abduction and assault in Fergus Falls today. The incident involved a 19-year-old woman from Fergus Falls. We'll have details tonight at 10 o'clock. Investigators are still trying to determine what caused the community center in Comstock, Minnesota, to go up in smoke. Some final last-minute campaigning today for Minnesota Governor. Polls show Carlson and Purpage are running dead even. The Bison and Sue both win in football. Temperatures in the 40s tomorrow. That's update. Join us for New Center 6 tonight at 10. This is News Center 6 Update. Good evening, everyone. Gay rights activists hold their annual convention in Minneapolis this weekend. A brush fire in California has forced hundreds from their homes. In Minnesota, soybean farmers are finding a new use for their crop. And at an art festival on the East Coast, thousands of people are celebrating ducks. John says we might have a few flurries tonight, and Ed will have lots of football highlights for us. That's Update. We'll have more news, weather, and sports for you tonight at 10. WDAY Television, Channel 6, Fargo. The season premiere of The Great Outdoors, Saturday. On duty in the desert, Monday. Looking back and coming home tonight. A season of achievement and glory as the herd won the national championship for the fifth time in eight years. See the highlights from the title game victory over Indiana University of Pennsylvania and look back at NDSU's remarkable perfect season. Watch the special championship edition of the Rocky Acre Football Show Monday night at 7 on WDAY Channel 6 Sports. It's a new form of birth control. That story tonight at 10. The Lotto Minnesota winning numbers tonight at 10. The Lotto Minnesota winning numbers tonight at 10. The Lotto Minnesota winning numbers tonight at 10. Hard copy, weekdays at 5. This is News Center 6 Update. Good evening, everyone. U.S. officials are trying to figure out why Iraqi planes are still flying to Iran. 
About 80 have reportedly landed in Iran so far. Iran says it will confiscate the planes until the war is over. We'll have an update on the Gulf War at 10 o'clock. In other news, it appears there could be fewer places to park around Moorhead State University. Austin Shower will tell you about that. And Steve Bergeson reports on the retirement of a hard-working Fargo police officer who has led a dog's life for the past nine years. Join us at 10. This is News Center 6 Update. Good evening. Iraq's ambassador to the United Nations says his country's peace initiative was misunderstood by the United States. The ambassador says Iraq is not attaching conditions to withdraw from Kuwait. Rather, those are issues which need to be discussed. That story in a complete wrap on the Gulf War tonight at 10 o'clock. Some bad news for Northwest flight attendants. The airline has laid off 300 attendants in an effort to cut back on expenses. And a special tribute to our soldiers tonight from West Fargo. These five-foot long ribbons are being added to light poles. A chance of snow flurries tonight, and the Sioux clinched the NCC in Grand Forks. That's update. Join us for his new Center 6 tonight at 10. It's tonight at 10. This is News Center 6 Update. We're here. Good evening, everyone. About 400 people say they are demanding peace in the Middle East. The group held a rally in St. Cloud today. They staged a funeral procession, a casket representing all U.S. soldiers in the Persian Gulf. That story tonight at 10 o'clock. Reporter Jim Shaw will tell you about a new birth control technique. Some say it's a significant breakthrough. Cass County reports the number of foster care cases is up dramatically. And in sports, you can now call them great. The Bison win the national championship with an easy victory over Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Look for temperatures only in the 40s tomorrow. That's update. Join us for New Center 6 tonight at 10. During the holidays, we remember just how fortunate we are to have each other and a warm, happy Christmas together. It makes us want to reach out to others. The perfect way for us and for you is the Giving Tree. WDAY-TV and the Holiday Clearing Bureau will have a tree in the Moorhead Center Mall through December 16th. It will hold tags with names of needy children and families. Choose one or more and purchase the needed gift listed. We'll enjoy our Christmas more, and you will too, when you spread some Christmas joy from the WDAY Giving Tree. The Bison Championship Special, Monday on Channel 6. Who by suspect? The latest on the Gulf War, tonight at 10. The latest on the Gulf War, tonight at 10. This is News Center 6 Update. Good evening. Some top military officials say don't look for a ground war anytime soon. ABC News is reporting a ground war may not start for another 30 days. We'll have details on the story tonight at 10. Soviet President Gorbachev has sent an envoy to Baghdad to make a special appeal to Saddam Hussein for peace. A large rally held in Fargo today to support our troops in the Gulf War. And a Minnesota man says he is going to keep his promise to his wife to keep her alive. Those stories and more on our 10 o'clock news. Temperatures in the 20s tomorrow and the bison coming up short in Mankato. That's update. Join us for New Center 6 tonight at 10. The Vikings battle the Eagles Monday on Channel 6. America's watching ABC. Hi, everyone. Coming up next on New Center 6. President Bush announces he will meet with President Gorbachev for summit number three. Hundreds of Western hostages are finally given their freedom by Iraq. A special three-part series begins tonight on the plight of the ethanol industry. This is Maynard Trees. The Red River Valley at one time was settled by many Native Americans. Today we'll show you some of their history. And the bison thunder past Indiana as the backup quarterbacks answer the call. Lon will answer any questions about the weather, all coming up next here on New Center City. This is News Center 6 Update. Good evening, everyone. Tonight at 10, we'll update you on today's investigation 
into that tragic train school bus accident near Miltona. Authorities today reenacted the crash to find out how and why it happened. Another Minnesota Guard unit has been called to Desert Shield. Meantime, Guard members in Moorhead wait for word whether they will go. And we'll tell you about a veteran barber. He's been cutting hair since World War II. A turnaround in our weather and sports, California is coming to town. Join us at 10. New in town? Let us familiarize you with Fargo-Moorhead City Services, entertainment and shopping options. Call Welcome Fargo-Moorhead, 237-4535. This is New Center 6 Update. Good evening. The president calls it fair and balanced. The Bush administration and congressional leaders reach an agreement on a plan to cut the federal deficit. It includes $134 billion in new tax revenues over the next five years. We'll have details tonight at 10. An 80-year-old Minnesota man who killed his wife who was suffering from Alzheimer's disease has been released from prison. And if you're enjoying Twin Peaks tonight at 10 o'clock, reporter Scott Seiler will tell you about something in your local bookstore which may give you the clues needed to piece this mysterious puzzle together. A gorgeous fall day tomorrow and a frustrating Viking loss today. That's update. Join us for New Center 6 tonight at 10. This is New Center 6 Update. Good evening. President Bush says he is very pleased with actions taken by the United Nations today. The UN Security Council gave its approval to use military force to stop Iraqi imports and exports. We'll have details tonight at 10. More threatening comments made today by Iraq's President Hussein. He accuses the U.S. of trying to sabotage diplomatic efforts to end the Persian Gulf crisis. For the first time since the crisis began, local reserves have been called into active duty. And more troops from the Grand Forks Air Force Base will be sent to the Middle East. More thunderstorms tonight, highs in the upper 80s tomorrow, and the Twins trying to avoid their 10th straight loss. That's update. Join us for New Center 6 tonight at 10. Donahue, moving to 9 a.m., September 3rd. This is New Center 6 Update. Good evening, everyone. Finally, an agreement on Capitol Hill tonight. The Senate and House coming to a consensus on the deficit reduction plan. It means you'll pay more for gas, liquor, cigarettes, and air travel. We'll have more at 10. Anti-abortion protesters are picketing Target stores again. A nationwide boycott is expected in about a month. And at 10, we'll tell you about Ella and Bertha, a beautician and her customer, friends for over half a century. A nice day tomorrow, and in sports, a night for Minnesota football. Join us at 10. This is New Center 6 Update. Good evening. Iraq says it wants to call the shots on peace talks. Iraq told the U.S. today it will set the date for direct talks. We'll have U.S. response to the statement tonight at 10 o'clock. A new report will soon be released questioning the stability of the banking industry. Banking officials say the report is inaccurate. More and more Native American babies are becoming victims of fetal alcohol syndrome. And a look at local volunteers working hard to make Christmas special for needy children. Mostly sunny, temperatures in the upper 20s tomorrow, and the buys and win a tough one at home. That's update. Join us for New Center 6 tonight at 10. New in town? Let us familiarize you with Fargo-Moorhead City Services, entertainment, and shopping options. Call Welcome Fargo-Moorhead, 237-4535. This is New Center 6. Good evening, everyone. For the first time since allegations rocked his campaign, John Brunson has gone out to Minnesota trying to breathe new life into his campaign. It's been one year since Jacob Wetterling disappeared. Night authorities say they may have a new suspect. We'll find out if his wet cool weather will continue. In sports, a big win for NDSU, a tough loss for UND. Join us at the Can I have her? The very first 30 something, Tuesday. She was a widow before she was a wife. This is New Center 6. Update. In broad daylight. Good evening, a man named Teenager is in custody tonight. After Roger was killing his father, he was stuck with a gun. Before he said the incident occurred just minutes after the argument. We'll have details tonight at 10. The chairman of Honeywell says reports that his company sold military technology to Iraq are very disturbing. And the tough ones. Congressman Gordon tells farmers they have allowed themselves to be victims for too long. I want this baby. Can I ask her? The very first 30-something, Tuesday. Pitt State, 39 to 29, to advance to the finals in Alabama next week. A good chance of snow tomorrow or Monday. Highs near 20 on Sunday. That's update. Join us for News Center 6 tonight at 10. Update. 
Good evening. A fire caused smoke and structural damage to a South Fargo home. The fire broke out shortly after 7.30 at 1206 8th Street South. It took firefighters about 20 minutes to bring the blaze under control. We'll have details tonight at 10 o'clock. President Bush is getting tough with Congress. Today he vetoed a stopgap spending bill, forcing government to close without a budget reduction, a budget deficit reduction plan. And after a string of disappointments, NASA is smiling after the successful launch of Discovery. A hard freeze expected tonight. Temperatures in the 40s tomorrow. And the buy is an overcome morning side for an ugly win at Dakota Field. That's update. Join us for New Center 6 tonight at 10. Scratching the surface, a year with the lottery tomorrow. Hi everyone, coming up next here on News Center 6, Iraq renews its threat to use chemical weapons. President Bush says despite diplomatic efforts, the bombing will continue. 300 Northwest flight attendants must now look for new jobs. And a look at how hospital officials in Israel take care of their babies during war. A warming trend in the forecast and the Sioux clinch the NCC. News Center 6 is next. is New Center 6 update. Good evening. Shots were fired in the Persian Gulf today. The Navy says U.S. warships fired warning shots at two Iraqi oil tankers in separate incidents. The ships, which did not stop, are being closely watched tonight. We'll have details at 10 o'clock. Iraq has announced it will place foreigners at key places in the country to discourage U.S. bombing raids. High waters threatened this Wisconsin dam. About eight inches of rain fell in Toma, Wisconsin. As much as five inches of rain poured on parts of Cass County. It's been over a month since we've had a significant rainfall. That's update. Join us for News Center 6 tonight at 10. Breast cancer. The facts are alarming. One in nine women will get breast cancer. It is the leading cause of death from cancer among North Dakota women. It cannot be prevented, but early detection can improve the chances for successful treatment. This is Robin Amundur. Watch for a special series to learn more about the methods of discovery and the types of treatment available for breast cancer. Early detection, your best defense, starting Monday on New Center 6. Operation Desert Salute is WDAY's way of saluting local service members stationed in the Persian Gulf. Send us a photo of the service member in your family. Give us their name, rank, branch of service, and hometown. All pictures will be returned by WDAY. Send that photo to Operation Desert Salute, WDAY TV, Box 2466, Fargo, North Dakota, 58108. Please include your phone number. Watch for our salute to local service members on New Center 6 at 6 and 10 p.m. The latest on the Gulf War, tonight at 10. A duck extravaganza, tonight at 10. Making it in Vegas, starting Tuesday at 10. Watch Bison Playoff Football tonight on Channel 6. How a Fargo nonprofit is coordinating the worldwide effort to rescue pets in Japan. Tonight at 10 on WDAY 6 News. New tonight at 10, we'll tell you why a Fargo nonprofit is helping coordinate the worldwide response to those pets injured or lost following Japan's earthquake and tsunami. Police are targeting the newest hotspot for speeders, why 45th Street in Fargo has become so dangerous. And Moorhead sets a timeline for getting sandbags into neighborhoods. Tonight at 10 on WDAY 6 News.